Hello everyone, welcome on my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you how to fix that type of error actually. Uh, a DB context option builder. Uh, notice that CS1061 error that is the uh, error and uh, DB context option builder does not contain a definition for SQL server and no accessible extension method uh, use SQL server. Uh, notice that use SQL server accepting a first argument of the type DB context option builder. Okay, so uh, that use SQL server uh, connection string and uh, DB context option builder does not contain a definition for uh, use SQL server. But uh, notice that entity framework core have a use SQL server method. But uh, when you press control dot key, control dot key does not show any namespace or any package reference for that. So how to resolve this types of problem? Uh, so how to resolve this that type of problem? Use SQL Server. So first of all, uh, there is the two method to resolve that type of problem. First of all, uh, you can use a NuGet package manager. Just right click on the package NuGet uh, manage NuGet package manager and browse SQL Server. Okay. So here we have a Microsoft Entity Framework Core.SQL Server. You have to install the compatible version uh, by using this interface and directly you can open your uh, project added uh, project file. There is a, just right click on your project name and edit, edit your project file. So you can see that type of file and add uh, that thing package reference include Microsoft dot entity framework core dot SQL server and version is compatible with your dot net framework uh, project 3.1.3 okay 3.1.1 also you have to mention it okay so that type of problem you have to resolve like that okay and you will go for uh, application user uh, okay start a file and your problem will be resolved easily and you notice that and also you have to add uh, some uh, data in your uh, thing like entity from the core okay yeah that there is must to add and after that uh, this you have to uh, remove the part and you will notice that you SQL server again but uh, and this time your control and dot key will work there is okay so uh, thank you very much for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net core